Between messages from Haley Bieber's dad, Justin Bieber not wearing his ring, and now their pastor dropping hints, are Haley and Justin facing a divorce? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. So many fan theories are out there going on about whether Justin and Haley Bieber are facing a divorce. And we just found a new one that is very telling as well. I want to play out all these scenarios and I want you to figure out what you think. All this started when Stephen Baldwin, who is Haley Bieber's father, Stephen is Alec Baldwin's brother. So uh, just to connect all the weird Hollywood connections. Uh, Christians, please, when you think of Justin and Haley, take a moment to offer a little prayer for them to have wisdom, protection, and to draw close to the Lord. He posted this on his Instagram reels. Now, if you follow Stephen Baldwin on Instagram, which I don't, but I went and looked a little bit, he posts a lot of stuff. He, you can even see here, there's like, it's like that uncle on Facebook that's sharing everything. And this was actually a retweet of somebody else. So it might've just been a flu, like a off- you know, hey, yes, always thank you for the kindness, and uh, yes, always pray for my my daughter and her husband. You know that, that that may have been what this was, but many have looked more into it. And apparently, Haley was upset that her dad was posting these clues uh, and got really upset about it. And we we touched upon this a little bit before when Haley's sister threw that used uh, tampon. No updates on that yet, by the way. We still are waiting for that video. I don't know if I want to see it, uh, but. Stephen now is, uh, has been called out, apparently, by Haley because of it. Now, beyond that, more has come in. Uh, photos that Haley shared showed Justin and many of them without his wedding ring. On a boat trip, his fans say he's making wife Haley look like a fool. Many fans upset that Justin would take off the ring on these big events, you know, big moments, etc., trying to assume that this means the fact that he's without his wedding ring in so many occasions could mean there, again, multiple uh, opportunities here where he could be wearing it. He's not. Why is he taking his wedding ring off uh, so often that there's all these photos to sort of catch it? Now, full disclosure, as I like to look at all this uh, closely, I had trouble finding images of Justin with his wedding ring. So while many people are trying to, to raise an alarm bell, I think it's actually just clearly what he does. He just doesn't wear it as often. Uh, and some people don't. Um, but, uh, and does Haley? Uh, yeah, I guess that is the, yeah, what Haley is. I mean, it's a big rock. Um, is that, that looks more like an engagement ring than a wedding ring. Either way, people sometimes take the wedding rings off. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, and so, again, that's big issue number two. Now, issue three coming in, and we have a fourth I'm going to get to in a second. Issue four coming in is now the fans have seen that Justin Bieber's pastor is dropping hints of marriage troubles, uh, implying that everyone thinks this is implying that he and Haley are on the brink of collapse, uh, as fans say after uh, she posts about vows. Uh, Justin's pastor has dropped a hint that the singer's marriage to Haley might be on the brink of collapse. On Monday, lead pastor of Churchum, Chelsea Smith, took to her Instagram to share a message about wedding vows. Um, and uh, let's see here. This is I have it. I have it here. Till death do us part. These are pretty typical words and wedding vows. When Judah and I st stood facing each other 24 years ago, saying these words to each other, it was hard to imagine all the seasons of life we'd experienced between 21 years old and death. Now it's a little easier to imagine. Here's the dirty little secret nobody told me. There are seasons where you don't necessarily feel the love. Seasons of grief, change, children, or just random funks. If you plan for death do us part, what is your plan for those seasons? My plan is making sure I don't uh, making sure I know how to receive the unconditional perfect love of God so that I still have something filling me up in a healthy way during those seasons. And yes, there's still Netflix and ice cream. The best part is that I don't need to wait for a rough season to receive God's love. I can start now and be prepared for a possible, uh, as possible for every season to come. Now, She's just offering marital advice. Good advice, by the way. Um, and, you know, because it is, uh, relationships can be tough. They're not always perfect with the honeymoon phase. You got to stay strong and communicate all that stuff. But how is this connected to Haley? Look, I mean, it could be. It could be a subtle way to get there. Uh, but as everyone's talking for the pastor of Justin to suddenly come out there and talk about falling out of love, most people are now implying, well, this must be connected. Um, what do you think? Too much? Now, Haley has responded. It's gotten so out of hand that Haley did put out this 
story. Just FYI, the stories and constant blind items I see on TikTok are 100% of the time wrong. How can they be 100% wrong? I'm sure once in a while there's something right. It seems overly aggressively defensive, but I digress. Uh, they are made out of thin air. Come from the land of delusion. So I know it may be fun feeding into these stories, but just know they're always false. XX, sorry to spoil it. When I see denial messages, this to me screams too defensive. And while she's trying to put out the flames, to me, this only fans them. This is not a good statement. This is not any sort of proof uh, that I think will squell the rumors at all. Uh, to me, this is only going to amplify them, Haley. So I don't, I don't personally buy this. Now, granted, as I've gone through all of these, you know, uh, the stories, as I'm feeding into the stories, I'm not. I'm looking at them objectively, offering my perspective seriously, and I like to try to like poke holes. Is this realistic or not? That's what we do here: pop culture justice. We go through the pop culture stuff. It's a little more sillier at times because it's not, you know, world politics or war, but it's stuff I'm passionate about, and I like to go through these to try to figure out how accurate could this be we got to speculate obviously but that's what i'm trying to do and so when i went through everything it all seems like it could be bs but when Haley posted this defensive story it felt like she got triggered like there must be something off and maybe there is trouble with the relationship but they're currently fine trying to work through it as the pastor and steven said uh what do you guys think though now i offered you one more thing we found and I found this to be most telling. This is an update that just came in as well. Uh, this afternoon, we're learning Haley Bieber's trademark for Bieber dismissed as fans fuel ongoing divorce rumors. Uh, she's, she now made, uh, it's been made public that her request to trademark her married name Bieber was dismissed. What? Well, so recent months, Haley and Justin have continued to spark split rumors and now Fans are grown even more suspicious is that the road uh, founder's trademark for her married last name has been dead and abandoned, according to reports from the U.S. Sun. The 27-year-old model was reported to have ban abandoned her trademark for Haley Bieber on September 13th, 2021, according to the Patent Trademark Office. Haley originally filed for the trademark back on October 10th, shortly after she and Justin tied the knot. Uh, but then a year or so later, actually more two, several, four years, almost th three years, three years later, she's abandoned that pursuit. So many people. Now, if this was done sooner, I'd believe it a little bit more, but she filed the trademark. She abandoned the trademark on 2020. That's three years ago, guys. So it's not a good look. It only is adding to the drama. But I got to be honest, all of this evidence to me doesn't necessarily prove anything. It's just stuff. I mean, she did it three years ago, but this one now is sparking even more debate as to, oh, wait, I told you so. So where do you stand on all this? Is this evidence enough for you to say there's trouble in paradise? Also, I know it's not really any of our business. I wish them well. I don't wish a divorce on anybody. It's no fun. Uh, do you believe Haley Bieber's statement here? Could this all just be nonsense? I want to hear your theories. Or are you more interested in knowing more about Haley's sister who threw a tampon? I'm going to put that video at the end of the video. Before we go there, though, click on the subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts, smash that like button, please, and leave your comments and theories down below. And yes, Haley Bieber's sister threw a used tampon and a security guard. That video is right there in the top left. Click it, click it, subscribe and click it. We got so much more. We'll be live later today. Hope to see you guys so much. Thanks for so much for watching. I can't speak.